So hello there. In this video lecture, we are going to try to learn what is the parallel forces and in particularly in a plane. So most of the time these forces are going to be very widely we are using for the different types of the applications. So suppose you are going to be taking the beams which are going to be supporting the, the roof or maybe the bridges, the pillars are going to be there. In this case, the loads are going to be acting normally to the surface. So then as for the definitions, the parallel forces, I am going to be taking the one example and the system of the forces I have taken, I am going to try to explain what is the parallel forces. So here, today's topic is the parallel forces in a, a plane. So then I have taken the three forces, F1, F2 and F3 forces, which are going to be acting on your body as you. This, I am assuming that these forces are acting on your body, that's going to be say the A. So then what I am going to do? So as for the definition, the force is going to be consist of the magnitude, the direction and the action of plane. So that means the line of action we are going to have. So then I am going to be extending the F1 force in a particular direction. Either this direction or this direction I am going to be extending. So here we need to define the parallel forces. We know regularly that their forces are not going to be intersecting to each other. So when I am going to take into this kind of things, so then I am going to be taking the extension of the F2 forces and taking the F3 forces. So then it is going to be very clear that these are going to be intersecting at a point O. So then we can say these are not the, the parallel forces. But we can say these are the concurrent forces and which we used in the last video lectures we have solved and the different kinds of the problems. So then what is the parallel forces in this case? Suppose you are going to be taking any kind of the body any shape. So then what happened? One force is going to be acting at A, another force is acting at B. So that's maybe I'm going to be taking in this direction. I can say this is the F1 and to F2. So in this case, the parallel, the distance between the F1 and F2 forces always the constant. So even though if you are going to be taking the line of actions in these directions, can you see the line of actions I have taken here? They are not going to be intersecting each other, but they are maintaining the same distance here. Anywhere. So these are the best examples you can take the railway tracks. They are parallel to each other, they never intersect the point. So then we can say these are going to be the parallel forces. In the parallel forces we do have the different types. So those are going to be equal parallel forces, unequal like parallel forces, unequal unlike parallel forces we are going to be seeing. So after seeing the definition of the parallel forces, when the line of actions of the two forces they are not going to be intersecting. So then we do have the like parallel forces in this case. What is the like parallel forces? We know the parallel forces and then what is the like parallel force? When the two parallel forces act in the same direction, so that means the two forces are acting in the same direction. They are termed as like parallel forces, right? When we are going to be say the parallel force here, their forces must be minimum two forces. Maybe the maximum 3, 4, 8 and whatever it is going to be. But there must be have a minimum 2 forces. They must be have in the same direction and then we can say that is the like forces. So then I am going to be taking the one example over here. I am going to be taking the one rigid body. right? And in this case what will happen at the point A. Similarly the last time what we discussed A and B. And this force is going to be acting in this direction. This is going to be the F1. And in this case we can say this is the F2. So can you see here, so they are going to be moving in the same direction. So then we can say this is going to be the, the distance between these two we are going, is always maintained when we are going to be taking the line of actions. Or you can take the, any kind of the forces which may be acting in the downward direction. But you have to fulfill that, that's going to be F1 and F2, the distance always maintained in the constant between these two. Then these two forces must be in the same direction. Uh, you can take the forces in this direction, those are going to be acting towards the right side. So this is the F1 and this is the F2, this is the A, the B as well as the D. So any direction that must be in the same direction we have to maintain. Then we can say that is going to be the like parallel forces. So here the next classification unlike unequal parallel forces. The before there is a like parallel forces we do have. That means that they are going to be acting in the same way. In this case, unlike, that's going to be opposite to that one is the unlike forces. Maybe they are going to be acting in the opposite direction. Equal, that is going to be telling in terms of the magnitude. So there, the definition, when the two parallel forces act in opposite directions and unequal in magnitude. So then, when two parallel forces act 
in the opposite directions and are unequal in magnitude. So then we can say that it's going to be unlike unequal parallel, parallel forces. So the diagram I'm, I'm going to be taking here, I'm taking the one receive body, the same like before, I'm going to be taking the two points over here. That's I'm going to be say A, B on the rigid body I'm going to be calling. So then in this case as it happened, we are taking the two parallel forces, but they are in the opposite direction. So one force I'm going to be taking here is the F1, Another force is going to be in the opposite direction. I'm going to be taking this is the F2. So in this case, they are equal, unequal magnitudes. That means F1 greater than F2 or F2 greater than F1. So that means these two forces are not in equal in magnitudes. At the same time, they are moving in the opposite direction. In the same way, you can take in these directions also. One force is going to be acting this way. Another force is going to be acting this way. And similar will come, uh, the situation is going to be. But they are going to be maintaining the same distance in the, throughout the process of the execution. So in this case also, they are going to be maintaining the same distance. There is no change in this. In this case, they are opposite directions and unequal in magnitudes. Then we can say that is going to be unlike unequal parallel forces. So here is the third type is there. That is the unlike equal parallel forces. In the last case, we have seen unlike unequal parallel forces. So in this case, what will happen first is going to be defining what is the unlike forces. So unlike forces, they are going to be in the opposite direction. They must be follow the parallel parallelism. The next one, equal means it's representing the magnitude of the force. So the definition, when two parallel forces acting in the opposite directions and are equal in magnitudes, then we can say that is going to be unequal unlike equal parallel forces. So for the same, I am going to be taking the definition here. So in the graphically, I am representing the same kind of example. That's going to be the A and this is the B. So in this case, what happened? One force is going to be acting. If the two forces in the opposite direction, that's we need to represent. So that I am going to be say that F1. And similarly, this is going to be in the opposite direction. This is the F2. In this case, F1 is equal to F2. Right? And similarly, you can take the figures like this. And this is going to be the F1 and this is the force the F2. The distance between these two B always measuring and it must be satisfied the condition of F1 is equal to F2. Then we can say that the equal parallel forces and at the same time these two forces are going to be in the opposite direction. Then I can say unequal, unlike equal parallel forces. And in this case what will happen in other case these two are going to be in the like forces equal magnitude if we are going to say. Then that's going to be like equal parallel forces. But in this case, unlike equal parallel forces only, we have seen. 